Welcome to another session of Teams in 20. Today we are going to be talking about new teams and my favourite, the Meet app. I'm going to take you a little bit about what is new teams, how do you get that switched on, uh, what's changed, and then I'm going to show you a, a bit of a demonstration of my Meet app and how I use it in my day to day. And I'm going to point you to some awesome resources. If you haven't met me before, my name is Joe Johnston. I'm a senior customer success manager here at Microsoft, looking after our amazing LRG customers. But let's just get straight into it. I've got loads of little videos to show you today to just bring this more to life. So lots to get through. Um, but earlier this year, you may have seen that we ushered in a new era of Microsoft Teams with a, a public preview of new Teams um, app for Windows. And on the 5th of October, we announced that this is now GA. Uh, so it's GA for Windows and Mac, um, including our education customers. And we're also rolling out the new Teams experience for those people that are using VDI, so our virtual desktop infrastructure, um, and also those government cloud customers as well. So if you haven't got it yet, it's coming. Um, and it should be with you fairly shortly. Now, we've listened to your feedback. Uh, there's been various listening groups, various feedback loops, um, with customers commenting that Teams client was getting a little bit slow. You know, it's had a lot of added features over the last few years. Uh, COVID spurred a ton of new functionality and, and it was getting a bit slow and it was getting a bit heavy on the resources. So we built a, a new app built on the foundation of speed, performance, flexibility, and intelligence. And it actually delivers twice the performance, the speed performance that it did before, while still using 50% um, less memory. So hopefully this is gonna save some time when it comes to collaboration. And we've done a few sessions in the past where we've talked about how important every every minute is when it comes to productivity. Uh, we've also streamlined that uh, user experience. We've tried to make it a little bit simpler, um, but it easier to find things in, in um, one place rather than multiple areas across the um, app. And these, all these new enhancements are really there as well to help us build that great foundation as we bring in new kind of AI powered experiences, especially with things like Copilot. Now we made notable, pro I can't speak today, notable progress since the launch of Teams. So as we started putting it out for public preview, people continue to give us feedback and I'm sure there's definitely more changes made there. Um, I know that when I tried Teams a couple of months back, uh, some of the features weren't new Teams, I should say, some of the features weren't quite there for me yet. I use a lot of uh, third party apps. Now new Teams is full feature parity with all all the features, things like custom line of business apps, third party apps, um, breakout rooms, seven by seven, uh, video, call queues, PSTN calling. So there was a big chunk of features that were missing. They're now all there. And then that whole search and chats and channels experience as well. Uh, things like cross-channel posting. Um, so, yeah, so I've been using this app now probably for about a month um, every day. I've not noticed anything that I'm missing yet. So that's absolutely fantastic. What I'm noticing is it's a lot faster. And, and that, that's what the engineering team have really focused on, focused on providing that higher quality performance, enhances some of those basic areas such as reliability, security as well, and also IT management. Great news, uh, upgrading to new Teams is quick and seamless. There's no big migration plan. This is not Skype to Teams trans, um, transformation. Uh, classic Teams users will be automatically upgraded to, to new Teams in the, in the coming months. But you know you can really get started on that new journey now. So if you see in this picture here, we've got these little toggles. If you have that toggle today, my recommendation is just go and try it, give it a go and and see, you'll see immediately that the speed and, and how different that is. But this is literally the only thing you've got to do. Um, so if you haven't done it, my recommendation is to give it a go. 
But how do we know it's twice as fast? Uh, well, we've partnered with an independent benchmarking co company called GigaOn, and they've tested the performance of the, the new versus classic teams. And they tested that across three different laptop ranges. So low end, general purpose, and then one of those more high performance laptops. And they conducted various tests comparing new teams to classic teams in areas such as uh, installation behavior, application response, um, and the impact on the resources as well, such as memory and disk space, which we know is is really important. Uh, our engineering prioritized the, the user interactions that occurred most uh, frequently, including things like switching between different charts and channels and activities, because uh, apparently on average, a typical user performs 10,000 switches per month spend a lot of time switching between chats and channels and Paris and teams. So it was really important to make sure that that was re as responsive experience as it possibly could. And with new teams, the switching between chats and channels and activities happens instantly and you're not having to wait for content to load. But don't take it from me. Um, I've got a little video to show you and it's just going to showcase the, the performance improvement in some of those areas I mentioned. So let me press play on this. That was done by that um, independent company just to show the actual difference between the two versions. So a lot faster. And as I keep saying, you know, every second counts when it comes to improving your productivity. So uh, yeah, give it a go. And if you're a Mac user as well, you're going to be also very happy because there've been significant performance improvements there too. Um, we're always looking at ways to provide simpler experience as well. Uh, we've got a hugely growing user base and we want to try and make it as intuitive as possible um, and as easy as possible. So the, the team are really excited to be rolling out um, enhancements to, to core teams experience to help you get on top of things like notifications, uh, search for information, managing your messages um, and just organizing your channels trying to look at how to reduce as, as many clicks uh, as possible. Now, I've got another little video just to summarize some of those UX improvements. Working together has never been easier with a simplified and streamlined Teams experience, ensuring that you stay in the flow across all your chats, meetings, apps, and accounts. With everything you need all in one place, you can focus on what matters most to you. With Teams, you can come together without friction and see everyone eye to eye, even when it's time to present. Now you can let the conversation come with you, keeping everyone and everything in one place. And connect seamlessly with anyone, even if they're outside of your organization. Love a little video. Um, yeah, so the idea is we, we keep everything in one place. Can't get, I love it that much, I want to play it twice. Um, and just make things simpler for people. So uh, as I mentioned, New Teams is the foundation for that next generation AI experience that we've talked about before with uh, Copilot. Copilot in Teams is amazing and today it goes GA, so I wanted to give a, a, a bit of a shout out. Um, if you haven't watched the Copilot session that we did previously, it just gave you a little insight as to some of those features that are included in that. Um, but, you know, for Teams, 
it really means that people will be able to quickly get up to speed on the conversations um, by quickly reviewing the main points, action items, decisions, without having to go through tons and tons of long threads. Uh, I can tell you through the pilots that we've done so far with Copilot, uh, people really love the Teams experience. It's actually one of the things that they call out the most, especially in the in the meetings. Um, understanding who said what, who who was aligned, who disagreed, uh, suggesting action items. So this is, you know, a great way to to make sure that we get great speed out of um, teams when it comes to wanting to, to use some of those features as well. And, you know, it's not as resource heavy on your uh, machine. Um, some organizations find managing multiple tenants a real issue. Uh, I know lots of my customers in the past in retail have had lots of mergers and acquisitions, and they then they find that they've got multiple tenants and they're having to look between the, the multiple tenants to, to, to work with other teams. Uh, so this is one of my favorite features because they've brought in this new multi-tenant um, feature called MTO, the call in it, uh, multi-tenant organizations. Um, and it gives uh, basically you the capability to switch tenants and get updates from other tenants and calls through from other tenants really, really quickly. I mean, you, I've tried this. You just wouldn't even notice that you were moving to another tenant. It's so quick. Uh, the other thing, if you've got multiple Teams instances, so if you've got my demo tenant, for instance, or my demo account, which is in a different name, I can also flip between that really quickly now as well. So. My last video for today, but uh, let me just give you an idea and I'm going to show you what this looks like in real life too. So that's absolutely perfect for me. I love the fact that I get that little notification that something's happening before I would have to go to the other tenant. My customer might have been chatting away to me in there and I'm none the wiser. Uh, so that's perfect. They may ring me from their tenant and I'm not getting that. So there's it's 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 completely transformational if you're um, somebody that has to work between multiple tenants. Um, so grading to new teams is quick, as I said, uh, no migration required. You can easily pick up and resume exactly where you left off in classic teams. So if you don't do it now, <laughs> don't press the toggle now because it will end this meeting and, and restart your teams. But um, if you've got the toggle, you can click quickly click the toggle. It will restart teams and then you can just carry on as you normally would. You know, your chat messages are, you know, your teams are in your channels. But you're, you're going to see that speed. You're going to see that some features have moved. Um, they may be more um, put under the three dots in a, in a channel, for instance. Um, but go go and have a look. It's it's really intuitive. Nothing dramatic has changed. That your uh, it's not going to make sense to you. You know, even that tenant switching. It's like it's obvious. It's you know, oh, okay, brilliant. I don't have to now kind of move into that other tenant to respond to those messages. Um, and if you go into it and you have any issues, which I'm not expecting you to, but if you do, you can switch back. So nothing lost by have, giving it a go. Now, um, I'm going to talk about my new favourite feature, and this is in new Teams. It's called the Meet app. So Meet is a new area of the team of Microsoft Teams where you can manage your meetings and prepare for what's coming up. So catch up on the meetings that you miss 
find the recordings, the chats, recaps if you've got Teams Premium. Um, and I love this like up next section. I'm going to show you what it actually looks like on my site. But in the up next section, you can review the upcoming meetings. You can quickly send a chat and say, I'm going to be late. Or you, know, you can join directly from there. You can RSVP. Yeah, you know, there's, it's just a really simple way to manage your day. Um, and I also really love the way that I can look at all the meetings that I've been in. And if anything was shared in those meetings, any decks, I'm not having to go find the meeting in my calendar, open the chat, look for the deck. It's all there. I can just click start directly into it. And if I want to do a chat quickly, I can also do that. So let me stop talking and let me just show you what that looks like in my uh, site. So this is my actual site, right? I didn't want to show you my demo site because it's not got all the content that I would, I would have had to spend ages creating meetings and stuff. And I just want to show you what it, the experience is like for me. Now, I love it that much that I've pinned it at the top, but I find it under the three dots, just type in meet. Um, and then I've right clicked and pinned it to the top there. But you can see I've got the session that I'm in now. So it knows I'm in, otherwise this this join button would be a different colour. I can see who's in here. I could go to the details. I could quickly chat. Um, and under the more options, because I own the meeting, I could cancel it if I wanted to. Um, I can also see what I've got coming up. And you can see I've got a bit of a conflict there. I'm running a, a session in a, in 30 minutes or so on the Windrush generation. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm going to be in the I can make sure I record the meeting I can reschedule it so lots of great features there that I can quickly get hold of and I can go through the rest of my calendar too as well but what I really love is this section here so this morning when I started I had a meeting on Converge comms and um, Copilot and in that meeting there was some deck shared um, I could quickly go and chat and ask a question if I wanted to. And because I've got Teams Premium, I can also go and look at the uh, the recap. Um, and the, there was a couple of tasks created. So I can go through, I can look at all um, my meetings that I've been in. Using the filters, I can filter, just show me what content's there, what meetings did I miss? I missed a few, uh, but I can go back and um, have a look at those videos just catch up on those recordings and then if I was that mentioned it's there too so I absolutely love that it's really simple um really intuitive I can just instead of back and forward in my calendar what I forgot today um I can go and have a look at that so this morning I couldn't make um this LRG meeting and uh, so I quickly sent them a chat didn't have to open the um the chat from do you have to go to my calendar find the meeting start the chat I can just do it directly from here uh, so I love that. Um, so that is part of, of new teams. Uh, and finally, just to leave you on some resources, I'm going to pop these links in the chat as well. Uh, there's loads of resources that help you make the switch, help you stay informed with you know what's changed uh, in the blog. If you're an IT admin and you want some support, um, that's in there too. But most importantly, the feedback portal. So if you see something that doesn't feel quite right, doesn't work in the way you expected it to, or you absolutely love it, please let us know in the feedback portal because that's how we make our changes by listening to our customers on what they want in the product and does it behave in the way you'd expect it to. So my final call to action, this is now GA, all organizations should be ready to move or at least have a plan to move because this year, all our new development is based on new teams. Um, it's not a Skype to Teams migration this is not massive changes so please yeah if you haven't got it um and it's not you're not got a toggle yet speak to your it but if you have got the toggle give it a go you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain um so that is it for me thank you for spending your lunch with us today uh love it if you could give us some feedback did you love this session did you hate it if you hated it tell me what you would like to see um, or how we can improve because we've got four sessions that we still haven't planned for properly yet. Um, next week, we're going to be looking at the Loop app with Daria. This is different from the Loop session we did before. This is a, a, a Loop app. Uh, we're going to go back and revisit Town Hall um, now that change is being made official. 
and that is it so i i had lots to show you i'm going to go back through the questions i'm going to show you some awesome links but thank you for spending this time with us today and i uh, hope to see you all next week